Hey everybody, what's up? It's your girl Different and welcome to Different's World YouTube channel. I hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl. And if not, manifest, plan, and prepare for a better one because I guarantee you all is truly coming to you guys for show. And if this is your first, second, third time or more, or if I'm new to you, if you're new to me, welcome. Happy to have you guys. Before you leave, don't forget, hit the subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Different's World and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And speaking of coming learning, you guys, I'm an author, motivational speaker, travel influencer, content creator, and CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment, LLC, a business that strives to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain all at once. So again, first, second, third time, or more, it don't matter, baby, just hit that subscribe button for your girl, yeah? All right, you guys, so today is Tuesday, happy Tuesday, whoop, whoop, Taco Tuesdays, um, for those out there who have been living under the rock, it's the second week of February, the first full week of Black History Month, 2024. So I want to start it off right. You guys know on Tuesdays we do our social awareness vlogs. And so with this one, this is going to, of course, be dedicated to Black History Month. Um, now, being 33 years old and, and just start being honest and open with myself and others, I've always secretly asked this question and never beforehand questioned anybody in regards to asking what or who started Black History Month? I've always thought, you know, hey, the NAACP, uh, just anybody, yeah, NAACP, <laughs> um, they were the ones who actually got Black History Month started. Um, but uh, come to find out, it wasn't them, and so never really just pushed the issue of well, who started it. Then. I just always just accepted and was grateful that, hey, at least we got a month dedicated to acknowledging, you know, our hardship and our culture and our achievements in society and so um but with that we're going to discover and look and i was actually able to find a dope video and surprisingly uh surprised by the the two hosts and the narrator of the video but definitely dug it learned a lot from it and i'm going to show you guys you guys know here with me i like to uh don't want well, to hear myself talking what you guys learn from other people and be motivated motivated by others and so um i'm gonna show you guys this video that i found um Gave a lot of good information on who started Black History Month and how it started off. And first off, it wasn't Black History Month. For those who didn't know, it started off as Black History Week. And it was started by uh, a black educator who's a well-known man back in 1926, uh, Carter G. Woodson, who started this in dedication of uh, African Americans in the U.S., you know, acknowledging our struggles, you know, dealing with slavery. Uh, to you know, dealing with Jim Crow and civil rights movement, and so he wanted to do something in 1926 to honor those in the past, and so it started off uh, as Black History Week in the second week of February, and he chose the second week of February, and I learned this in the video as well um, that it was because of uh, two birthdays, Frederick Douglass and Abraham Lincoln, their birthdays are in the second week of February, so he chose this uh, week to be that. But uh, 50 years later, 1976. Uh, the President General Ford, General Ford, Gerald Ford, <laughs> get myself together, right? Uh, Gerald Ford, he uh, proclaimed Black History Week to be a full month of February. Uh, they gave a, a dope quote of him in the video. And so with that, we'll be further yip yapping and jaw jacking. Check out the video I found from Hey Guess What? Uh, talking about the history of Black History Month and how it got started and how far we come with it and then you guys are going to be surprised if you haven't seen this video you're going to be shocked by the people who are telling you the story and uh, i was but I, I think it's dope and um happy to share it and i uh, want to hear you guys just comments and opinions about this and your thoughts on it but while you're doing that check it out and when you come back come into the different world and come and learn what's going on more with the girl yeah here it is come learn. hey everyone in today's video we're going to learn all about black history month Black History Month was created to honor the contributions of African Americans to the United States. Black History Month celebrates all black people from all generations of U.S. history. Black History Month honors the enslaved people who were first brought over from Africa in the early 17th century as well as the African Americans we have living in the United States today. So, how did Black History Month start? Great question, Quinn. 
It's actually from an African-American historian, scholar, educator, and publisher who was named Carter G. Woodson. And he came up with the idea of honoring a period to recognize black history in the year 1926. Carter G. Woodson, also referred to as the father of black history, was the son of former slaves Eliza and James Woodson. He earned his master's degree at the University of Chicago, followed by his PhD from Harvard University. Originally, Carter G. Woodson's idea was to honor black history for a full week. Carter G. Woodson's plan was to celebrate and acknowledge black history during the second week of February. But this was not just any random week chosen in February. We're going to find out why. That's right, Gus. This week in February was chosen because it includes the birthdays of Frederick Douglass, who was an abolitionist, which is somebody who wanted to end the practice of enslaving people, as well as the President Abraham Lincoln. President Lincoln led the United States during the Civil War. The Civil War was largely fought over the enslavement of black people in the United States. Throughout the next five to ten years, many college campuses and school districts throughout the United States began to recognize this week as well. And then, in 1976, the week-long event officially became known as Black History Month. It was actually President Gerald Ford who changed the celebration to the entire month of February to, and I quote, honor the too often neglected accomplishments of black Americans in every area of endeavor throughout our history. And since the year 1976, Black History Month has been celebrated in the United States every single month of February. Some people and figures you may hear mentioned a lot during Black History Month are Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. fought for equal rights for black people during the 1950s and the 1960s. Another is Mae Jemison. She was the first female African-American astronaut to travel to space in the year of 1992. You'll also hear about Ruby Bridges, Rosa Parks, and many more. And believe it or not, we have a lot of videos about those people as well and those will be linked in the description too. Since the first Black History Week, which began in 1926, other countries have joined the United States in celebrating black people and their contributions to their history and culture. And these countries include Canada, the United Kingdom, Germany, and the Netherlands. You can usually find activities like museum exhibits and movie screenings during Black History Month. As well as encouraging the study of accomplishments by African Americans all year long. Black History Month continues to create additional discussions and information regarding black people and their contributions to the world today. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know a little bit more about Black History Month. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that like button. It really helps out our channel. Sure does. Make sure to subscribe. Bye. Bye. All right, everybody, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that informative video from Hey, Guess What? Uh, and explaining, you know, Black History Month. And as you've seen, it was two little white girls and a white man narrating the story of Black History Month and how it got started. And I know some people like me, when I first looked at it, I'm like, what in the world? How is 
is, you know, two more white girls, you know, explaining my history. Then I thought about it. Well, that's the point of my book <laughs> is to have people, you know, who are not from that culture, but to have these confrontations that need to be had that, you know, an acknowledgement. And I appreciate the fact that, you know, there's people from different cultures and backgrounds and different skin color that was taking the time to acknowledge black history and how it got started and, and, and admitting that slavery <laughs> was big in America back in the day and, and how, you know, um, the hardship that it brought upon African Americans and the fact that, you know, uh, to this day we still fight for our rights and, you know, equality. They didn't mention that, so to speak, but, you know, to this day, if you guys see the issues that are uh, going on in, in black America, um, we still have a long way to go. We've came a very, very far away, but we got, yes, so far to go. But with that being said, you guys, um, I definitely uh, enjoy hearing that. Uh, description of Black History Month as far as, you know, the first time hearing new information and learning how Black History Month got started, the fact that I heard it from white people instead of black. I'm kind of taken back by it, but hey, it is what it is. Um, but I do appreciate the fact that it is, you know, you know people of non-color acknowledging and, and researching our history. And so it's what we want, man. You guys to acknowledge and, and more so take accountability and don't sweep it under the rug and pretend like it didn't happen when it did. And so we're on the right track with it. And so I, I appreciate this video. And if you guys appreciate it and, and or whatever, however you feel about it, definitely drop a comment below and let me know. Um, what else you learned, what I learned in the video? Uh, uh, Carter Woodson, man, he was a phenomenal man. He was very smart. You guys see, he went to the University of Chicago, got his PhD from Harvard. His parents were slaves. Uh, I think his name, their names were Elijah and James Woodson. Uh, so, man, he, he did a lot. Um, and so with that, just looking at his example and, and trying to lead by it, hopefully, you know, I can leave my mark on the world. Uh, hopefully, you know, as big as he did. Um, but even if I don't, at least I try, you know, especially, you know, with my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift. And so, again, you guys, if you enjoy watching the vlog in regards to how Black History Month got started, definitely show me uh, by dropping a comment, like, share, and definitely, guys, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into the tutorial and you come and learn about your girl, yeah? All right, and moving on, you guys, don't forget, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and see all my other social media handles, including my TikTok and Instagram and so much more, and as well as those out there that's looking for motivational speakers, looking to do collaborations with your podcast, or anybody looking for somebody to be a part of their grassroots conversations, get at you, girl. I am free of charge as of now. You just need to go to my website and book your girl right there. Um, what else we got going on? Of course, my book. <laughs> I forgot to say, just said a few minutes ago. What if a controversial paradigm shift is also available? Excuse me, on my website, differenceworld.net. And again, my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, was written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done this through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, you guys, be advised. That this is sensitive content. It's intended for a mature audience, and so if you can't take this type of heat, still come on to the kitchen. Just get your little fire blanket. You'll be all okay. You might get singed. You might have your little feelings rock, but you'll be okay. You'll survive. That's the point of it all, you guys, is to have these conversations that need to be had and that are often swept under the rug. People like to turn a blind eye to some, not all, as you can see in the video. But again, they acknowledged it, and that that lit up my heart. Man, I was I was not expecting. <laughs> two little white girls to come on and start talking about uh, Black History Month and explaining our history. It did so well. They did a very good job. So kudos to them. But again, going back to my point of my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift, that is the point to have these conversations, having people from all walks of life talking about, you know, injustice, not just with black people, just in, in equality in itself with, with people all around, you know. In my book, I not only talk about black and white, I talk about, you know, Hispanics, Muslims, Native Americans, even, you know, touch on LGBTQ issues. And so, uh, this book is not just for one side of coin, it's for everybody. So again, come and learn, you know, go buy the book and read the book and then pass judgment and you'll see what I'm talking about. It's not just about whether people the wrong way, it's more so coming together and again, having that acknowledgement and accountability and talking about unity and creating ways where we can create 
systemic change over time instead of dwelling on systemic racism. So again, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and get your copy of my book, especially being Black History Month. Got to represent for the culture and so support your girl by going to my website, differenceworld.net, and getting a copy, and then sharing your reviews and uh, showing your love and, and telling people about it and getting the word out. Yeah? <laughs> All right. So again, you guys, I appreciate the love and support. Keep it coming and don't stop. All right, and moving on with that, with Difference Gravy Train, what else we got going on, you guys? Tomorrow is Wednesday. Um, really, that's what I've been doing, uh, just backing up and booking and doing these interviews with podcasts, uh, especially with being Black History Month. I uh, got a lot lined up. I did two yesterday, and so big shout out to the uh, podcast hosts who had me. Um, <coughs> so sorry I can't think of the name right now man it's just so many <laughs> I got a lot going on but it's gonna be all right I'm a boss I'm gonna get through it that's just how I do uh what else we got so again you guys that's why you gotta hit that notification bell and that subscribe button so when I drop content you guys come into different world and you come and learn about your girl uh what else we got going on afterwards uh mental health check of course for those out there who include myself uh, maybe going through any type of mental stress or anguish including depression having suicidal thoughts uh, whatever the case may be you know dealing with bullying uh, drug relapse or you know going through uh, it, whatever the case may be man just know that it's okay to not to be okay but don't sit there and not be okay go get help whatever they may mean to you be it talking with a therapist a family member a friend your counselor, your pastor, picking up a hobby, cutting people off, many broken bridges, even getting on medication if that's the case for you. Do whatever it is that you have to do that keeps your mental health in check and keep you from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. If you need or if you know anybody who may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255 or you can call or text 988 or you can text 741-741 and for those that would prefer you guys can go online and check out mentalhealthishealth.us or you can visit 988lifeline.org or for those that are outside of the U.S. and is checking out your girl's YouTube channel you guys can visit incounseling.com and remember you guys although I am giving you these mental health resources it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you because at the end of the day you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the water nobody else and lastly when it comes to the mental health check i want you guys to remember that whatever trial and tribulation that you are going through at this time of your life this too shall pass and you will get through it so going off the deep end is not an option so therefore don't do it okay and so with that being said we're going to move on from the mental health check uh, again, bring us back to some more positive vibes and close it out with the positive vibes. You guys, I hope you enjoy. Again, uh, looking at my social awareness blog and opening up in honor of Black History Month of 2024. We're going to try to ride this thing on out long and strong. For me, you know, I'm Black 365, 24-7. So every day I wake up and go to sleep, I'm representing for the culture. So uh, with that being said, you guys, I hope you enjoy it. And if you did, if you didn't, again, don't forget to share your comments below and your thoughts about the video. I'm definitely interested in seeing uh, what you guys think, especially those that are over the culture. How do you feel about it? Uh, good, bad, ugly, it doesn't matter. That's the point of it all, again, to have these conversations that, are, that, that needs to be had. And so with that, afterwards... <laughs> Don't forget, hit that subscribe and that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World, you come and learn about your girl, yeah? And with that being said, you guys, don't forget, whatever it is in life that you're feeling that you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it, and it will surely come to you guys. Difference World, come and learn. What if? What if, in 1619, Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths? 
and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical. What If, a controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.